Hey guys, make sure you stay until the end. If you make one common mistake, you can spend thousands of dollars on parts and diagnostics you don't need. Stay with us and we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today guys will be super helpful video to any of you. Having a Toyota Sienna, this generation right here from year 2011 to year 2020. If you guys have one of those, you have a problem where the DVD entertainment system is not working. You need to see which fuses control it, two fuses, where you can find them, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays, at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and time. And why it's important to test fuses and relays, all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure you stay until the end so before we start let us tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take things completely apart we show you guys how to do electrical mechanical bodywork a little bit of everything guys if you have one of those vehicles that we're making videos on subscribe we will put quite a few videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs all together guys on our channels we have more than 12,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars now also if you need to buy any parts to use at a good price quick shipping that way guys you do not waste your money and time we'll share in our videos where you can buy parts tools uh, fuses relays because some fuses guys and relays are special specific especially for that Toyota Sienna you have those special fuses right here uh, you also have that special integration relay right here and the other relays we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price quick shipping guys uh, because sometimes they could be also really hard to find so let's go ahead and start on it now so what do we guys have here now specifically if you check this Toyota Sienna guys, this is a 2012 model that we'll demonstrate on. We have two different fuse boxes and today we'll be working in both of them. Now, the first one that we need is on the driver's side. Open the door. If you look guys, under the dash, above the pedals on the left side, you'll see one white cover all the way under the dash. That white cover looks like this one. Once you guys open that white cover, you'll see that fuse box layout here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So, it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system I'll never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery guys okay common mistake people make it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect reconnect first if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules how we know about that we burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW that cost is two thousand dollars guys so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first check it out for your convenience here we need to check guys one fuse that we need to go to a different fuse box and the first fuse that we need to check is fuse number two that's seven and a half m fuse now if you open the hood facing guys okay the engine on the right side you have a fuse box right here under this cover open that cover and you'll see that fuse box layout here here guys we'll need to check okay another fuse but we'll open this angle where you can clearly see everything now if you come here guys okay that fuse that you see now okay this is empty okay now uh, let me see now empty so we're going to go this is 14 25 26 guys you may have that fuse right here okay that will be the one for the dvd entertainment system if you have that one installed in your car hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you guys next time